sealing and waterproofing damaged mortar joints. The most common repairs to brick and block walls, chimneys, and brick veneer are cracks in the mortar joints caused by wall movement or foundation settling. Mortar joints can also deteriorate from exposure to the elements over time. Once a crack develops, it is important to seal the crack from water to prevent further deterioration. As with any mortar repair, proper attention to joint preparation is essential to achieving a successful result. Using a chisel and hammer, widen the crack to a minimum of one quarter inch and break away any deteriorating concrete. The edges of the crack should be squared or beveled in an inverted V, then remove the loose material with a brush. Permanent, waterproof cosmetic repairs can be made to cracked or deteriorated mortar joints using quickrete polyurethane mortar joint sealant. Mortar joint sealant is a highly flexible sealant that will stretch up to 700% without failing. This allows for wall movement and expansion and contraction from temperature change. The mortar joint sealant's textured, light gray, matte finish is designed to blend with the surrounding mortar. Mortar joint sealant dries to a permanently flexible, durable material. Always wear eye protection and waterproof gloves when working with polyurethane sealants and work in a well-ventilated area. To apply mortar joint sealant, simply cut the nozzle tip in an angle with a utility knife to match the width of the crack or joint and load into a standard caulk gun. Slowly draw the gun along the joint, forcing a bead of caulk deep into the crack. Quickrete mortar joint sealant can be tooled with a trowel to remove any excess material and to match the surrounding surface immediately after placement. Mortar joint sealant will be tack free in about two hours, depending on temperature, humidity, and joint depth. Excess sealant should be removed immediately with a citrus-based cleaner or mineral spirits and a cloth. Polyurethane sealants are temperature sensitive and should not be used when temperatures are below 50 degrees.